So what we're going to start with today is our glute exercises, our glute circuit station. They're going to compose of six different exercises. We're going to do 45 seconds on with 20 second recovery. The first one is your stationary glute bridge. So feet shoulder width apart, drive through the heels, squeeze the glutes at the top, nice straight line. We're just going to hold that for 45. The next one is contraction glute bridge. We're going to be in the same position, feet shoulder width apart, drive through the heels, but what you're going to do this time is you're going to come up, you're just going to let your backside touch the ground, and then raise back up again. Alright, so we're working a different muscular system on the second exercise. Number three, diamond glute bridge. Heels together, knees pointing out, and then we're just going to drive up like that. Alright, we're going to hold that position for 45. Next one, number four, is glute bridge march. We're going to be in the stationary glute position, and you're just going to pick your feet off the ground, and you're just going to do that continuously for 45 seconds. Make sure those hips are high. Number five is donkey kicks. So we're going to be in a tabletop position, right leg, 45 seconds, drive it up. Lead with your heel and not your toes because that will help contract your glute. And then 45 seconds, exercise number six on the left leg. So I'm pushing up. You can see I'm driving up through my heel and not my toes. All right. So six exercises, 45 on, 20 second recovery. Let me get a timer and let's get started. All right, so we're really going to go back to start with the stationary foot bridge. We're going to go in 10 seconds. Are we ready? You're going to hear the camera and uh, the timer count you in. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, and up. So hold that position there. There we go. Up we go. Good. Squeeze the glutes. Drive through the heels. That's a good one. Keep the hips up. Make sure you feel no pain in your lower back and your lumbar spine. There we go. Excellent, guys. Hold that position. Just under 25 seconds to go. Good work. Hip side. That's it. Excellent. Hold that position. Last 10. You've got to keep the glutes contracted. We get 20 second recovery. Two, one, and rest. The next one is the contraction glute bridge. I'm just going to put the brightness up on my laptop. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. 12 seconds. So contraction glute bridge is where we're here. And we're moving up to the top, back down, back up to the top. All right, we get three, two, one. Let's go. There, coming back down. And again, just go at your own pace. Make sure you're squeezing your glutes at the top. Yeah. So remember, faster isn't always better. Make sure the quality of the rep is really good. There we go. That's it. Just under 25 to go, guys. Keep that going. Good work. Let's go. Come on. Drive up. Drive up. Good. You can really start to feel those glutes. Fatigue. And get a little bit tired. Two. One. And rest. Good. Now we're moving up to the diamond glute bridge. Feet together. Knees pointing out. And bring those hips up. Alright, we'll get 10 seconds. So this class is a little bit more chilled than normal. Just to give you a wee week where we can pick up, we can get going again. Two. One, and let's go. Bring the hips up. So the reason we're bringing it down a little bit in the pace is just because for the last couple of weeks, we've been really going full pelt in our classes. And I want us to focus on the quality of our repetitions and the quality of our exercises. And just move it fast, fast, fast. Until exhaustion. So we don't want any injuries or any imbalances taking place. So make sure those glutes are contracting, make sure you touch your backside, make sure it's nice and strong. We get 10 seconds. Good work guys, keep it there. Two, one, and that's good. Well, with the exercise being a little bit lighter in intensity, I have from the, um, the duration a little bit higher. Next one is glute march. Stationary glute position. 
while we're bringing one foot off the ground. There we go. So just small movements. Small movements. Just holding for about one second. And then changing sides. Good work. Hold that strong. Excellent, guys. Keep it going. Last ten. We're almost there. Good work. Excellent. Two. One. And rest. Good. Next one we've got is the donkey kicks on the right hand side. So we're in exercise number five. We're in tabletop position and driving with that right heel up towards the sky. Okay, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Drive up. Drive up. Again, this is not about how fast you can complete the exercise. It's about how well you can get that glute contraction every time you get to that hip extension by driving your heel towards the sky. Good work. Keep going, keep going. Okay, now 20 seconds to go. Now you can start to feel a little bit of fatigue in that back side. That's good, that's what you're supposed to be feeling. Eight seconds, guys, we're almost there. Good work. Four, three, two, one. That's right, so good. So you're going to be feeling that lactic acid start to seep into the right hand back side. Then we're just going to switch uh, legs and we're going to move on to the left hand side. We're going to get 10 seconds. And then from here we'll get the 30 second recovery while I demo the abs. And then we'll get into our next set. We're going to four. Three, two, one, let's go. Try to meet the heel up, drag that knee. There we go. So we'll get that full hip extension. Make sure that heel is going towards the sky. There we go. Again, make sure you're moving your own pace and your own intensity. Halfway there. Good one, we'll get 18 seconds. There we go. Good. Good work. 11 seconds. We're almost there. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And rest. Good work. So, glute phase is finished. We're only going to do one set of the glute phase, but we're going to do two sets of the abs, core, and back phase. We'll get 10 exercises. I'm just going to run through them really quick and then we're going to follow along anyway so, I'm not get that much, so we don't take that big a recovery. First one, normal plank on our elbows and on our feet or again on our knees if it gets too hard. 45 seconds on, 20 second recovery. Next one, hands underneath your backside, reverse crunch, knees bent. Uh, number three, phase two bicycles, hands above our head, kicking out, leading with our heel. Number four, right hand plank, stationary normal, no leg up, no knee drive, or just here, or we're here. All right, we're going to, going to switch on to our left hand side for exercise number five. Number six, leg extensions, hands under the back side, legs out to um, straight out, and from here you're coming back in, back out like so, leg extensions like that. Next one, I, Y's and T's, working on that back, working on that posture. Thumbs uh, facing up, and we're making those I, Y, and T shapes at your own pace um, on exercise number seven. Number eight is plank in the push up position, and we're just going to do shoulder taps like that. All right, so opposite arm to opposite shoulder. Number nine, leg raises so that legs will be straight out, hands underneath the back side again for lumbar support, and you're going to go all the way up, all the way back down. You're going to contain that for 45. Last one, paddles. Hands above our head, and we're doing big paddles like so. All these exercises are either going to work your core, your lower abs, or your obliques. There is nothing really upper abs focused in this one, so it's all targeting the lower core, the lower abs, or the obliques. All right, are we ready to rock and roll? We're going to go in 20 seconds. First one, normal plank. 45 on, 20 second recovery, let's get it, 10 seconds, 
Are we ready? This is our main set. This is where we're going to work kind of hard. We're going to go in three, two, one, and go. There we go. Core tight. Backside down. And just hold that core nice and strong. So I'm trying to keep it nice and simple today. Just simple, effective, and just help the body sort of catch up. The last couple of weeks have been really, really intense and really challenging. We've got 20 seconds to go. So if you can, try and stay on your feet for as long as possible. We've got 12 seconds. 10 seconds. We're almost there. We're almost there. We've got five. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Exercise number two, reverse crunches. Hands up, get that back side, support that lumbar spine. All right, we get 10 seconds. We get eight seconds. We're gonna go in five. We get four. We get three, two, one, let's go. So heels just tapping off the ground. Back up, tap it off the ground. Back up, there we go. Excellent. Again, this is all lower ab, full core, and oblique focus training today. There's no crunches to what the upper abs. We're just working that lower core, there we go. 17 seconds to go. Tap down, crunch back up, tap down. Crunch back up, feel that lower, those lower abs really working. There we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. 20 seconds of recovery. Next one, phase two bicycle. So hands above our head. If you need to put them under your backside, then you can, but if you can try and keep your hands up here, that'll be amazing. All right? Phase two bicycles, we're going to go on four, three, two, one. Let's go. We're here, and we're just coming back and forward. There we go. That's it. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. You can really feel that start to work now. You can feel the lower abs really start to kick in. You feel them working, you feel them burning. Kick the legs out. Kick the legs out. Good work. Keep that going. We're almost there. Kick them out. Lead with the heel. There we go. Feel that lower core really fire up. Come on. We're almost there. 10 seconds. Ten seconds. Let's keep going. Let's keep working. Good work. Come on, guys. Let's keep it going. Two, one, and rest. Woo! Good. Next one is right hand plank on your knees or on your feet. We'll get 13 seconds. So again, a little bit slower tempo, but the, the emphasis on the duration is really making your tummy work. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So again, this is your stationary plank hold. Nothing fancy today, no frills and spells. We're just working on the, the foundations, working on the basics. Checking them off the list. We get good at the foundational work, and then we build from there. Halfway. Excellent. Keep the hips high. Touch your oblique to make sure it's contracted. We'll get just under 15 to go. Good. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep the hips up. Hips up. Come on. Good. Challenge yourself. Two, one, and rest. Good. Flipping over to the left hand side, exercise number five, left hand plank. Again, you can be on your knees or you can be on your feet. 10 seconds. You guys are doing really well. Let's keep this intensity and this pace going all the way through the session. Four, three, two, one, up. There we go, that's it. Good. Keep the hips high. Excellent. Again, on the left hand side, touch that oblique, make sure it's nice and strong. Make sure it's supporting your core. Keep the hips up. Don't let them dip. And make sure you have a nice straight line from your elbow down to your heel. We're almost there, guys. 20 seconds. Hips up. Good work, good work. Nice. Keep the hips high. We get 
12 seconds. 10. Good work. 8 seconds. We're doing great here. Hold the hips up. I know it's tough. 2. 1. And it's calm. Good. Next one, leg extensions. Exercise number 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to start straight out. Bring the knees back in. Legs straight back out. We're going to go in 8 seconds. Hands underneath the back. The back side. So pull that lower back. Good 
work. Good work. There we go. Nice work, guys. Let's keep that going. Keep the feet off the ground. Come on. Good. Good work. Good work. Breathe. I know it's painful, but keep working. Keep working. Come on. Ten seconds. seconds on with just 15 second recovery all right so we're going to run through these again 25 on 15 second recovery and then that's us done for the, the class all right so I'm just going to put the timer on to 25 seconds and we're just going to take a wee 45 second rest we're going to run one through ten again and then class dismissed all right so get a little drink of water give yourself a wee bit of recovery and don't worry it's not going to be that hard the second set in comparison to the first because we're, we're really, we're, we're slashing the time by 20 full seconds. We're almost doing let, like half, half of the exercise that we just done in the first set. So again, don't be feeling a little bit, you know, dismayed or don't be feeling demotivated that we need to go through that one more full set again. It's not 45, it's 25 which is 15 second recovery, all right? Just to make sure the intensity still stays high and we don't get bored while we're resting when the, the, if the class isn't that challenging. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that timer on. So first one, plank, reverse crunches, phase two bicycles, right hand plank, left hand plank, leg extensions, IYTs, plank shoulder taps, leg raises, paddles, done. All right, let's get back into position. We're going to go to 10 seconds. We're going to go into the plank to start. Normal plank position, 25 on, 15 recovery. Two, one, and let's go. Just hold strong, all right? 25 on, 15 second recovery. Let's go. Good work, 15 to go. Excellent work, folks, keep that going. 10 seconds, seven seconds. Good, keep the hips up. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. 15 seconds of reverse crunches, hands underneath the back side. 10 seconds. You've got it, guys. Let's stay strong, let's stay focused. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Again, make sure you're maintaining good technique throughout the exercises just because it's 25 seconds. Doesn't mean to say you need to go hell for leather. There we go. Over halfway now. Good work. That's it. Keep that going. Heel touch. Back up. Two. One. As rest. Good. Face two bicycles. Hands above the head. Again, remember 25 seconds now pain. Not 45. We'll just stay strong up here. We'll get five. Four. Three. Two. I can 
see you. Get the hips up. You've got it. Stay focused. We're almost there. Give me 10 more seconds. Come on. Keep digging in. Dig deep. Hips high. There we go. Three. So our legs are going straight out and knees coming back in. Seven seconds recovery. We'll get five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All the way out. Back in. All the way out. Back in. Good. That's a good technique. Good technique. That's what I'm looking for. There we go. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Come on. Keep digging. Keep driving. You've got it, come on. There we go, two, one. And rest, good work. Next one is number seven, I-Y-T. 10 seconds, seven seconds. Again, don't go faster, just because we're at 25. One, and let's go. All the way out, just stay nice and composed with this one. We want to make sure we're working the correct muscles. Make sure our thumbs are facing up. I, Y, T. I, Y, T. I, Y, two, one. Yes. And rest. Good work. We are almost there. We have eight, nine, and ten. Plank. One elbow. Uh, shoulder, shoulder touches. And then we'll get nine and ten to go. All right. We're going to go in four, three, two. One, let's go. Make sure your hips stay in a nice straight line now. Keep the core really tight. Keep it strong. Ten seconds. You're doing so, so well. We're almost there. Two, two exercises to go after this one. Two, one, and rest. Good. Leg raises. Straight legs all the way up, all the way back down. Eight seconds. We're almost there. We're almost there. Let's dig in. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up and down. Good. Up and down. What those lower abs. Woo! What that lower core. That's it. Nice and controlled. We're already halfway through. Get less than 10 seconds, come on. Woo! Let's go. Two, one, and rest. Four. I can really, I always feel it in the leg extensions now. We'll get paddles to finish, hands above our head, and that us done for the half class. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. So we're here. Make sure you're breathing. Try and break up that lactic acid that's in the tummy. Let's hit those abdominals. We'll get 13, 12, 11, 10. Come on, we'll get less than 10 seconds. Come on, be tough, be strong. We're almost there. Two, one, and rest. Woo! Excellent work, guys. It is just after six o'clock, I cannot believe that we have done 30 minutes of glutes, abs and core there. That flew in today. If you, if you really enjoyed it, you know, let me know. Um, you know, give me a, a wee WhatsApp, give me a message, a wee email, just to let me know what you thought of that class in comparison to the other classes. But honestly, like that, I can't believe it's, it's just after six now. So, if you enjoyed it, let me know. And really good work, honestly. Your energy was amazing today. I really enjoyed everybody working hard. And again, I know it was maybe some bits were a little bit less challenging than other areas in terms of uh, last week and previous weeks. But again, what I want to make sure is we're hitting all the foundations so we can do all that fancy stuff as well through the weeks and make sure we're not getting injured. But honestly, really good session today.